Hey guys, I've just opened up a blank VS Code file and I've named it functions.py. And over here on the right side, I can go ahead and start building my Python functions. All a function is, is, well, let's, let's describe it first. What it really does is functions compute data. Spelled it, spelled it wrong here, funky tons. Functions computing the data we give it. We give it. And what the functions can do also is accept what we call parameters. And they can return values. Can accept parameters slash args and return values. So let's go ahead and build a function. I know that's very abstract right now, but let's go ahead and, and describe what it is. So to d describe a function in Python, first we say def, and we can go ahead and build a function. You can see my copilot's already built one out for me, but let's go ahead and build an, our own function that says add, add two numbers. So add two numbers. We use snake casing in Python functions. And within this function, I need to invoke it with these parentheses. And what I can do is say number one, here's the first argument, and number two as the second argument. And again, these arguments here, we can quite literally name whatever we want. We just want to make it a uh, human readable value. So we understand that these are two different numbers that we're passing in to, to do this function, to compute this data. And exactly as my copilot's helping me, we need to return number one and return number two. And if we run this now at our Python, so if I print add two numbers and pass this function a one and a two or a one and a four, and if I go ahead and hit sh shift command and P and click on this first Python colon run Python file, or if your terminal doesn't show, you just look for it this way, Python run, Python file and terminal. And you can see that functions being read. So functions allow for us to compute data. We can also not give it arguments and I can just return a string of anything I, and if I wanted to remove these, these parameters here, or excuse me, their arguments when they're passed into the function, is what, what these would be called here. And then the parameters when we pull them out of the function when they're passed out of here. Um, but but let's, let's talk about that in a moment. So here I can also run this file and or add two numbers. And I can also rename the, the, the function because we're not adding numbers anymore. We're, we're returning a string. And if I go ahead and run that now, Python run file, return a string of anything I want. So all the function does is it gets invoked here and typically what we use them for is to compute data. So again, I think I think adding numbers, number one plus number two is a great example of this. If we say add two numbers, and when we pass in these parameters here, we have number one and number two, these are called the parameters. And by definition, I, technically we could, we could still call them parameters here, but from a technical standpoint, most people would understand if you said, oh, the parameters here are number one and two, or the arguments are number one and two, they're, they're interchangeable terms. But by definition, these are going to be your arguments and this technically are parameters, but, but really you could call them both. And I think, I think most people will understand what you're talking about. The parameters are these variables you pass in. So if I pass it a one, if I pass it at two, it will do this computational function. Awesome, so that's a little bit about functions.